Well, with Valentine's Day just around the corner, some people might be looking for love. And that quest for love might include unique ways of dating. Our Gary Cooper introduces us to a local speed dating event with a twist. No one wants to go through life alone. That's why some will take certain measures to find the key to romance. Rebecca Ship, single, career-minded, is looking. Originally from Nashville, Tennessee, and um, I am 35 years old. With the braces, it might look a little bit different, but um, I've been in San Antonio for eight years. She's at a lock and key dating event. Chris Feliciano explains how it works. The girls will have a, a small lock around their neck, and the gentleman will have a small key. And the mystery part of it is that they're going around basically mingling, socializing, and at the same time trying to unlock uh, the small lock room. It's not easy putting yourself out there. Kind of old school, so a gentleman, really sweet and kind and thoughtful. Um, someone who's going to, you know, um, be ready to have fun. You know, he's not like worried, like, oh, I've got to plan this and do this. Even though I, I like plans, um, but someone who's a little bit spontaneous. This is better open, we're on camera. <laughs> no. Rebecca is here alone. But that wasn't the plan. She should have got a manicure. Her friends stood her up. They said they weren't ready to come out to, you know, show themselves or whatever, or meet someone, and put themselves out there. And I was like, you know, just come out, have a drink, have a good time with me, you know. And they were just a little nervous, too nervous. But it doesn't take long before conversations are made. I'm going to keep looking. It's kind of funny because I thought it had only been a two of these, and I think I might have been a three. But it's been so long. Like, every time I go to one of these, it's been a long time in between. So when they Some like, are better than others. Someone around here has to be a winner. Others are interesting. Yeah. Wait, did you hurt yourself? Are you okay? Um, yeah, it was um, from a gunshot wound. Oh, my gosh. Were you playing with guns with the boys? Yeah. No. Um, fire military. Oh, my gosh. Rebecca goes on, one after another, key after key. As they say, communication is key. Okay, nice to meet you, Rebecca. Yes, have fun. Ironically, nowadays, even in a society where we're more, we're more connected, we're really not. Compared to like going out to a bar where maybe he's with his friends and staring at a couple girls, but there's really no interaction going on. Yeah, thank you. We're probably busy, you know, uh, staring at their phone and texting. <laughs> That's what events like these are for. But Feliciano says it's not always about finding someone. He says when someone unlocks their potential, that's a start. Success is not just uh, determined by uh, like a marriage, but um, relationships and also um, improving people's confidence. I, I mark it as success as well. The only way to know is to turn the key and try. Like they say, what do you have to lose? Gary Cooper, Ken's Five, Eyewitness News. Is it against the rules to pick a lock? So far, Rebecca has gone on two dates with a man she met at the Lock and Key event, and the two plan to meet up again this week. Organizer Chris Feliciano plans to hold another event later this week as well. So get your keys.